For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. When the heaven and earth is passed away, and all your fortune, and all your wealth, and your material goods are gone, That which will last is that which was done for the Lord Jesus Christ. And everything that you've done for yourself will be of no value. It will be a loss. of who you are and what you are will have no matter. For people in hell have no name. They are nameless in the flames of the lake of fire. That if only your name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, which is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Not believing that the preacher will go away. but that Jesus Christ can save you today. For the wages of sin is death, and all have sinned and come short to church tomorrow. You may not have a night. Your eyes may close. And if you have rejected Jesus Christ, God will reject you. And you will be found woken in hell. And if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus, when you die, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You have been entertained by the devil's music. But you can only be saved by God through Jesus Christ. Miss Bridget will stand before God one day. Why didn't you let the preacher preach? Why did you not let the name of Jesus Christ be exalted? You see, when you, when you persecute Christians, and I'm a Christian, Jesus Christ will take it personally. As Paul, who was Saul, persecuted and killed Christians, 
Jesus said to Paul, Why persecutest thou me? And Paul didn't persecute Jesus. Paul persecuted the Christians. One day you'll stand before God, you better stand before God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Because without the blood of Jesus Christ, without belief upon Jesus Christ, you are not saved, you are lost. And Jesus Christ came into this world to seek that which is lost. Religion can't save you. Baptism can't save you. Being good can't save you. Giving to charity can't save you. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. I am a good, honest person. No, you're not. The Bible says there's none that doeth good. When you declare that you are good, the Bible says there's none that doeth good. You cannot do what the Bible says you cannot do. There is none righteous. So don't say I'm a good, honest person. No, you told a lie. You sinned against your parents. You didn't honor your parents all the time. You have taken something that's not yours. Thou shalt not steal. Maybe you swindled a customer that came to the farmer's market. That's stealing. The Bible says thou shalt not steal. Maybe you sold something that wasn't of good quality. We had a guy that sold us strawberries here at the farm market. And he put the bad strawberries on the bottom and good strawberries on the top. Thou shalt not steal. You told a lie? Have you said something that's not the truth? Any shape, way, and form. It's not a little white lie. It's not a polka dot lie. A lie is a lie. You're a liar. Revelation says liars will have their part in the lake that burns forever. You told someone you love them, you don't love them. That's a lie. When she gets up and sings, she says words, and they're not her life. She says, coming from Georgia. Did she come from Georgia? Does she have Georgia on her mind? If she don't, she's a liar. Is she saying anything today? I love you, love you. You don't love me. You don't love God. Don't lie. Many people, oh, I'm a Christian. No, you're not. Christians would not hate the preaching of Jesus Christ. We just had a Christian come up. He loves the preaching of Jesus. He loves the exaltation of Jesus. No Christian would ever hate a Christian lifting up the name of Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll love my words and keep them. I gotta wonder for Christians who don't read their Bible. You're not a Christian by a religion. You are a Christian by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are a Christian by someone who has put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Someone who has said that only Jesus is the way to God. Only through Jesus Christ can I be cleansed. For by grace are you saved through faith. It's not of ourselves. Salvation is never what I've done or you do. It's what God has done. 
And what God has done is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You say, preacher, what makes your Jesus so more important than so-and-so? The empty tomb, the empty grave. When the angel proclaimed, he is not here, he is risen. And I ain't talking about Esther. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about the resurrected, resurrected Christ. Mary didn't come out of the tomb. Muhammad didn't come out. Buddha's still buried. Mary, Be Mary, Mary Baker Eddy has never called anybody. Because they're not God. My God can be your God is the one that's seated at the right hand of the Father, alive and well. You can take the pulse of my Jesus. You know what the pulse of Muhammad and Muslims is? Dead. Not alive. Islam is the religion of Satan. You take the pulse of Mary. She was a great woman. I'm talking about the Catholic Mary. And her Catholics, her pulse, it's dead. No life. But there's life in Jesus. Jesus said of himself, he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the light. Drive off thinking, I've done a good day. But I also prevented the word of God. May God work on your heart. May God take down anybody that prevents the preaching of Jesus at this farmer's market. Anybody that stands in the way of the word of God, may God deal with them in their heart. And may Jesus Christ be exalted. May Jesus Christ be praised. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ. He is your only way. And I bet you did not thank him for the stuff you had today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.